Okay, so I just realized I did this whole haul thinking I got everything from Rombi. I actually got everything from Zephool. So I do like Zephool. I am such an idiot. Oh my god. But yeah, one of my favorite things about shopping at Zephool was the fact that they sent their clothes in these really cute bags that say Zephool on it. You would think that by like taking like six pieces of clothing out of the bags that have the store name on it, you'd think I'd know where I'm buying my crap from. But obviously not. Um, this haul is a Zafool haul, not a Rombi haul, and yeah, I'm like a moron. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, it's Ria, and today I am super excited because I have beautiful new lights in my room. Aren't they gorgeous? They're just like, it's like raining rainbows. It's beautiful and I'm really excited and my dad's probably gonna kill me because he hates when I get new lights and stuff because he always thinks I'm gonna burn down the house. And when I was younger, I was like, no, dad, you're being paranoid. But now I kind of understand it seeing as I set like three fires in the past month and they weren't even intentional. But anyway, so today's video I is very excited to announce is a Rom V haul and it's a try on haul. So I really wanted to try a Rom V for a really long time because I see it all over YouTube, people buying stuff. You either hate it because you never get your stuff or you love it because they're paying you like $2,000 to say you love it. So I really wanted to check it out, see what it's all about. And I guess the number one complaint about Rom V that everybody has that is kind of true is it takes them a really long time to send your clothes. Yes, that's true, but they're also sending it from China and they're sending it like, their clothes or you're buying their clothes for like $3. So I don't really think I would complain about that. It's like, it's pretty cheap clothes and it's really trendy too. So I'm okay with that. Just an FYI, Rombi does send their clothes in various different packages. So you're not going to get like one big package with a bow on top. Your package or your order is going to come in like various shipments. Um, so you're not going to get everything on time and it does take a few weeks to receive it. But that could be a good thing because then you're going to forget you ordered it and then you're going to get the shipment and be like, hey, it's like Christmas. Anyway, we're just going to get started with this try on haul and yay, I'm super excited. Alright, so the first thing I got was this really cute sweatshirt that has a picture of Beverly Hills on it. It's pink as you can see and in terms of quality, it's pretty good. It's not thick enough to wear outside during the winter and it is a crop sweatshirt as you can see. So you probably don't want to wear it in winter anyway if you live on the east coast. But for the price of $11, it was totally awesome and I would definitely recommend this. And it's actually really soft, more than I thought it would be. Like, a lot of sweatshirts that I get for really cheap usually end up being scratchy. But this one is actually surprisingly very comfortable. And if you guys heard a squeaky noise, I did not fart. That was my foot against the hardwood floor. Alrighty, so I also got this white top, white crop top. And I think it's super adorable. I absolutely love the back over here and the crisscross little detail. And this was only $8 and it fits perfectly and it's actually pretty thick for an $8 top and I absolutely love it and I think it would go really good with a really cute high-waisted skirt or even just high-waisted skinny jeans. It's very versatile and it's only $8 which makes me happy. Side note, um, just in case you guys are wondering, this and the pink sweatshirt that I showed you guys earlier are both size smalls and in case you need some um, I guess guidance, I'm pretty short. I'm like 5 foot and my bra size is like a 32C, my waist is like 24, my hips are like a 32, but I did eat a lot of tacos today so it probably doesn't look like that. Alright, so the next thing I got is this adorable skirt and I was actually looking at a skirt like this at Anthropology, but it costs like $98 and I can't afford that. I, as I said before, I work as a cashier at a grocery store. So I saw this for I believe $11 and it fits amazingly. It is once again a small and the material isn't as stretchy, so I may size up for this particular item. But the thing I like about this skirt is that the pattern goes around from the front to the back, as you have seen from the multiple times I have turned. And a lot of skirts in the US that are being sold for a lot more expensive than this skirt, the pattern only is in the front. So Rombi so far has really made me a happy girl. So I also decided to get a pair of workout leggings, and I actually got two. This is the first of the one. And this particular workout legging kind of has like a design on the side where it's cut out. Oh my god, I'm going to fall over. So hopefully you can see it right now. But yeah, so like it's cut out and it has crisscrosses um, down the leg. And one reason I really like it, other than the price, was because they're actually really soft. 
and they're pretty thick for being like $10 leggings. Usually when I try to buy cutout leggings in the US, like they're always $40 or more because of the design. And I don't really understand that because there's less material. So wouldn't you think that the leggings would cost less? It is fashion's great mystery, but yes, I love these leggings. So you know how a lot of people said Rombi's clothes is actually like really small and you need to order like two sizes up? This is probably an example of I'm actually wearing a bra underneath this to make sure this doesn't go up too much when I wore it without it. Like it kept riding up. So um, <laughs> this workout set is definitely way too small. I ordered a medium because people said it's too small and it's still way too small. That being said, I only have this problem with the top part and it might be because I have boobs and I don't know, I guess like the people they design this stuff doesn't have boobs, but I also got the leggings which are super cute and they have like a cutout right over here. I probably look really awkward like standing like this. This is the most awkward try on haul ever. But that being said, these leggings are super cute, they're super soft, but they are also super super thin. I went outside running in these once, as in today, this morning. I didn't run that fast because I didn't want to die. But um, yeah, so I went out running in these and I felt like I didn't have any pants on because they were so thin. That being said, you could probably wear these in the summer because it feels like you're not wearing anything. Alrighty, and I am back. And um, I'm wearing a shirt this time. And I apologize for anybody that was mentally or emotionally scarred for their life because they saw me um, in my stomach. My love of tacos and cookies is a lot stronger than my love of having abs. And I figured I needed to gain weight so I could lose it again during the New Year's because what else would I do? I wouldn't have a New Year's resolution if I didn't gain weight. So I have to eat the cookies because then I'm giving myself a goal to work towards. Anyway, so the next thing I bought from Romvi were these sunglasses. And Romvi is probably a really good place to shop for trendy sunglasses that will only be in style for like probably like one season. So these are like the cat shaped sunglasses. I actually really like them because I really like cats. So if I could aspire to be a cat, that would be awesome. But yeah, so these sunglasses are pretty nice. Um, they don't do a really good job of actually blocking the sun. Like there is a light right in front of me and it kind of hurts my eyes staring right into it, but they make me look awesome because they hide my face when I'm half asleep. So these sunglasses rock. And of course, the last thing I got was a phone case. Um, this phone case probably would not protect your phone if you drop it, but nowadays phone cases generally aren't used to protect phones. They're more like clothes for phones. Like, if you want your phone to be stylish, you put a phone case on it. And if you don't want your phone to be stylish, you keep it naked. That's fine. Like, whatever, if you want to be a phone nudist, that's okay. You could allow your phone to be a nudist because that is socially acceptable. Yeah, but you probably shouldn't run around without clothes because you might get arrested. Alright, so that's all for my haul. Um, in terms of my experience, I actually really enjoyed shopping there. Um, I didn't mind that my clothes took a while to get here because I was in no rush to get them and I paid like <laughs> $5 on average for almost everything I got per item, like not all total. I would have bought more stuff if I could, but I am poor, so I could not. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you guys next time. I'll probably be eating tacos. Bye.